The Black Towers on the waterfront of Detroit is the Wren Center, location of the General Motors World Headquarters. Move a little bit west along the waterfront past the downtown skyscrapers and you will get to Kobo Center. This is the location of the North American International Auto Show, commonly referred to as the Detroit Auto Show, from January the 13th to January the 28th, 2018. with Lobo, you are viewing Detroit, America's Great Comeback City. And Lonely Planets, number two city destination for 2018. Blog number 13, Detroit Auto Show, the people and some last impressions. Remember, a new vlog is published every Friday. In this vlog, I'll report upon the interesting people that I met, a self-driving car, America's most popular vehicle, the best prize for overall presentation, the best story award, and the Harbinger of Things to Come award, plus good news for the big three auto workers. Stick around, you'll see it all. My first visit to the Detroit Auto Show got off to a great start with an exclusive interview with Detroit rapper Shadow Clan, just outside Cobo Hall. About science. About science, yeah. A astrophysics and cosmology. Okay, how do you feel about Detroit? Ah oh, man, this city itself is arsenal democracy. This city itself is the indulgence of Henry Ford evolution of right. assimilation and commercialization. Right. So things are very important prior and prevate here as a Detroit American base indulgence through the evolution of just humanity. I may add it to note, the contributions Detroit gave. But you love Detroit. Detroit is a grand dad. We are 90% black folks, I may add it to I note. Know. I Unfortunate. know. Unfortunate. <laughs> I don't see that many. Though. Unfortunate <laughs> that they don't have the idealism of being uh, what you consider economically viable. Right. With the zen amongst your personality behind taking care of what need to be taken care of. Right, right. right. With just pure mentality structure. Right, right, right. Very. And your name again is? Shadow Clan, K L A N. Uh, thank Please you. Please Google the name. In the name of Star Trek as well. In the name of Star Trek? Yeah, we fundamentalized that astrophysics and cosmology. Jeez, you can't beat that. You're not at all. <laughs> pleasure talking to you. The pleasure is truly mine. <laughs> Cobo Hall. <clears throat> Excitement as the international press gathers for this vehicle, a Waymo self driving car. What a name, Waymo. I may not have heard of it, but it's big. Waymo is an autonomous car development company and subsidiary of Google's parent company, Alphabet. They've been at the self-driving car project business since 2009. As I catch the background of the skyscrapers of Detroit and over there, the GM Wren Center. I see the uh, lineup uh, might be for the opportunity to get into this vehicle and go for a ride. Who wouldn't want to do that? And just inside the famous statue of the Brown Bomber, that would be Joe Lewis, a native of Detroit. Detroit, are you enthusiastic about Detroit? Uh, Detroit most definitely is the city where I grew up in. I try to keep it clean. This is the ambassador program downtown, Detroit oh, Partnership. Yes, uh, we are ambassadors. We I are did with, not know that. Yes. yes. It's, a up and, it's a very up and coming city right now. That's what I'm here yeah, for. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of things, a lot of events. The auto show right now is like our main thing that's it's going on right now. Exactly, yeah. And we got a lot of other things going on. It's nice places to eat. It's the good people here, too. You know, right. it's a good atmosphere here. Yeah. I find people very friendly here. The yes. atmosphere, yes. You want to, you like to get out and out. I know it's kind of bitter cold, yeah. but you still got more, a lot of, you still got more people that's exactly. here to enjoy each other. You got people that's coming from Canada. Yeah. From You got people that's from other states. We meet them on a daily. Right. Where else, where else are you going to go besides the Motor City for the auto show? For the auto show. For the auto show. <laughs> hey, different. how do you like the uh, Detroit Auto Show? It's the best I've seen it in years. Why, why is that? Uh, <laughs> Come on, guys. Why is what is it? Uh, What's up? He why? wants to know why this is the best auto show we've seen in years. Is it's Detroit music? Motor City all day, every day. That's right. That's, That's how right. we do it. Yeah, what, uh, what cars did you like particularly? 
Uh, see, I see here this, uh, I think this, this is Cummins here, right? This is the 2500. This Ram 2500 Cummins, it's got the greatest horsepower around. It's a workhorse, it'll pull it's everything you can get. Stroking. That'll blow everything away, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. But the most popular selling truck is on the other side of this wall. It's the, it's the what? We're going to go over there it's next. Ford. It's the Ford F-150. Yeah, oh, yeah. That aluminum body, you can't beat it. It's just great, fuel efficient. That's an aluminum body there? You guys are Ford guys, are you? Absolutely. I'm a Ford yes, guy. I am. Born and raised. Oh, yeah. Ford, Ford City. City. Cheers, boys. And your name is? I'm Bailey. No. I'm Anthony. Thank hey, you guys. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Yep. Hello. So is this the uh, F-150 here? No, this is Ranger. It's a 2019 Ranger. Oh, it's Ranger. a Ranger, yeah. Which way is the uh, F-150? F-150, so we have some F-150 downstairs, and you'll be able to see some also down, okay. down that way. Thank you. You're very welcome. And uh, where is car number 25, best-selling car number 25, the Chevrolet Cruze? Are you looking for the Cruze? Yeah, I'm looking for the Cruze, yeah. So grab this is the Cruze. Next, you have to send into that third row, even if you have a car seat attached. Now to maximize cargo space, pull down the seat, go down completely flat, and it's best. I'm speaking with uh, Trisha, and Trisha, you're from? Detroit! Detroit, and you love Detroit. Detroit. Very much so. I'm born and raised here. I moved away for nine and a half years, Where'd and you know? I was in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, that's lovely. Uh, hot weather. Temperatures okay. Different from the snow. Very different. What brought you back here? It's home. All right, home. And it's growing from it's the growing. inside out. It's growing. Meaning from the downtown. Out downtown right? out. Yeah. Everything is growing. I, I like it very, very much. It's which, it's very interesting. Which part do you like best of downtown? Um. Campus Marshes That's and Hart Plaza has always held my heart. Oh yeah, Hart Plaza and because of the fist of Joe Louis. The the fist of Joe Louis, and then you've got the spirit of Detroit. I love this. We put a jersey on him every time we have a championship. So oh, wow. it, it's very involved, and there's so much going on, and it's growing, and everybody seems to be much more happier going forward. Fantastic, and don't forget to say hello to David from. Lemo. South Africa. South Africa. It's a pleasure talking to you. You as well. We have an update to a story we had a couple of days ago when I was talking with Trisha. Trisha, what's new? Well, I was detailing the cars and enjoying the auto show, and now I am officially a floor supervisor. Oh my God. That is fantastic. It was you. It was you. It was your good luck. Uh, uh, no, it was yours. It was your good luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Beautiful. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Jeep Display here at the North American International Auto Show. My name is Erin, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our all-new 2019 Jeep Cherokee. Now, the all-new Cherokee stands out as one of the most capable and captivating mid-sized SUVs ever. From our affordable latitude to this luxurious overland, the Cherokee has always remained loyal to its Jeep brand heritage. Now, for 2019, GMC has to ship those to Chicago, and those will go in the GMC room, and they'll I don't have a There you go. Oh, uh, there are. Alright guys, go ahead and fill that out for me. It was a pleasure here talking with Lisa. Real pleasure, Lisa. Thank you. All my pleasure. Oh no, Mwah. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We're here at uh, Hyundai. So Hello. Hello, we're talking with Jen. Is number that right? one. Number one manufacturer in Korea. It's a pleasure meeting somebody with a uh, Korean background. Yes. Pleasure talking to you. And uh, Jen and I have a connection. Oh, wow. We've both been to. Uh, we've both been to Seoul and we so, both have travel vlogs. That's right. Check out Jen's delightful YouTube travel log, which includes her experience with the amazing race. Wow. That's at Jen Ventures. I gave my best prize for overall presentation to the Chevrolet Silverado.
My Best Story Award at the Detroit Auto Show goes to the Ford Motor Company with this display. It was 50 years ago that actor Steve McQueen, in the role of Frank Bullitt, a detective in San Francisco, rode this 1968 Mustang Ford GT Fastback through the streets of San Francisco in an amazing ride. The movie by Warner Brothers was called, well, you guessed it, Bullitt. The other part of the story is a 2019 Ford Mustang Bullet. Yes, that's what it's called, Bullet. Just before the auto show, the first limited edition 2019 Mustang Bullet was sold at an auction. The winning bid was $300,000, all for charity, and the charity being the Boys Republic, a California-based nonprofit home for troubled teens that cared for a young Steve McQueen. The color of the Mustang is called Highland Green. That's a tie-in to last week's blog when I talked about Ford's first assembly line at the Highland Park plant here in Detroit. The most significant announcement at the Detroit Auto Show was made right there on that stage. I was there for half of it, but I didn't press the red button to record. It was here that a vice president of the Fiat Chrysler Corporation announced that due to President Trump's tax reforms that lowered corporate taxes from 35% to 21%, the Chrysler Corporation would move its Ram truck production from Sausalito, Mexico to Warren, Michigan. Warren is right next door to Detroit. Fiat Chrysler announced it would spend $1 billion to revamp its Warren truck assembly plant. It would add 2,500 jobs and production would start in 2020. The Harbinger of Things to Come Award has got to go to Guangzhou Automobile Group Company, or GAC Motors. They produce many models, but they hope to start with the GS8, an SUV that's quite stunning. Can you imagine a car made in China? I wonder what the price will be. Mm -hmm.